What is up guys, Delboy here. So this weekend the World Boxing Super Series continues with a potential fight of a year contender and somebody is going to sleep in this fight. It is the cruiserweight fight between Unier Doltikos and Dmitry Kudryashov. It is for Unier Doltikos' WBA uh, cruiserweight title and it's an intriguing fight, it really is. Both guys have savage power, both guys are aggressive and both guys are going to come to fight. One of the best fights in the tournament so far, if not the best fight in the first round of this tournament. Let's quickly go through both guys and their records and, and what they bring. So Dortikos has a record of 21 wins, 0 defeats, 0 draws. 20 of those 21 wins coming by way of stoppage. Dmitry Kudryashov has a record of 21 wins, 1 defeat, 0 draws. 21 of those 21 wins coming by way of stoppage. Both of these guys have knockout ratios of 95%. Somebody is getting slept. We're not going to go to the final bell. And this can only be an entertaining fight. Let's briefly talk about both guys and their physical attributes. Dortikos is listed as 6 foot 3 with an 80 inch reach. Whereas Kudryashov is listed as 6 foot 2 and a half with a 75 inch reach. So Dortikos does have a 5 inch reach advantage and he's slightly taller as well. So... He is slightly more rangy, you know, he's the longer guy in there, so that could play into his hands. Dortikos, to me, when he boxes and when he counters, he's very effective. He's got a lovely right-hand counter. The uppercut is really good as well when he counters. He, pushes, he puts his shots together very well when he lets his hands go. All around, I mean, when you look at both guys, it shouldn't be too much of a fight because Dortikos is a lot better technically. He puts his shots together in much better fashion. He's not great defense, uh, defensively by any stretch, but he's a lot more responsible than Kudryashov. Dortikos gets hit, but nowhere near as much as Kudryashov. And when Dortikos gets hit, he knows how to handle it. He knows how to roll with it a bit, a bit more than Kudryashov. You know, all around, Dortikos is just better. Quicker, as I said, better technical ability, better boxer, better boxing brain. Uh, body puncher, he does everything better than Kudryashov, apart from one aspect, and that is that is power. Dortikos has power, he can knock you out, he's got a lot of stoppages, like I said, but Kudryashov has that one punch power that can turn your lights out with one left hook. He's got scary power, and Dortikos makes enough mistakes to make this fight interesting. Dortikos is not, is not the, like, finished article by any means. I'm just comparing him with Kudryashov in terms of skill. And in terms of skill, Dortikos is levels above Kudryashov. But like I said, he makes enough uh, enough mistakes to give Kudryashov that one opening. And that's all he needs. He needs that one opening for that left hook and it's game over. That is why this fight is such an, imp uh, an appealing fight. I mean, Kudryashov, to me, when I see him fight, he is very predictable. You know, he's looking for those big shots each and every time. His jab is okay at times. You know, he likes to um, pop that jab and look for those looping sort of big shots. The only shot he delivers with any sort of technical know-how is that left hook. And he does and he does time it quite well at times as well. I've seen him time a few guys with it and knock them out. So the left hook is, is good. It's delivered very well. And that is his danger shot. You know, but apart from that left hook... Apart from that crippling power, I don't think there's too much there. I really don't. Defensively, he is pretty poor. We saw that against Duradola when he got hurt. He didn't know what to do and he got stopped. I'm not sure how durable Kudryashov is, but because like I said, against Duradola, for the first time he hit his opponent. He hurt him badly, but they carried on fighting. And that looked like it shocked Kudryashov and he didn't know what to do. And then he got hurt and then he got stopped. So mentally, I'm not sure how strong Kudryashov is. If Dortikos is still there after a few rounds and he's uh, landing his shots, I don't think he's going to deal with that very well. I really don't. It's just what I see in Kudryashov. He looked extremely uncomfortable against Duridola in the first fight. And even in the second fight that he won, there was moments where it looked like it could turn, but it, it didn't in the end. But um, there are moments when he looked uncomfortable and he was starting to get tagged a bit. So that's going to be interesting. 
Ultimately, when I look at both guys, uh, Dordikos is just a better fighter in every sense of the word. Picks his shots better, he counters better. He seems to be thinking in the ring more than Kudryashov. Again, Dortikos is an aggressive fighter, but he just seems to be more more fluid, more relaxed, more more cerebral than Kudryashov. Kudryashov, to me, goes in there and he just, try, he just tries to land that left hook and that's it. I don't think there's any subtlety to Kudryashov's game. And that's why I think he'll, he'll be undone in this fight. Having said that, like I said, all he needs is one left hook. That is why this fight is so intriguing because... Dortikos makes enough mistakes to let that happen. Dortikos does get hit. I've seen Dortikos get hurt. You know, against Kalenga, he was getting hit a lot in that fight. And there was times in that fight where it looked like that could turn as well when he could get stopped. But to his credit, he, he pulled for it and uh, and got the win. Dortikos is very vulnerable defensively, but not, not as much as Kudryashov. And that's what I think the difference is going to be, you know. This could be a who strikes first kind of fight. Whoever lands the first big shot. And that could be it. It's going to be a fire fight. I cannot see this fight going past six rounds. And I'm picking a Dortikos win. I'm picking Dortikos to get him out of there in four or five rounds. I think it's going to be a fire fight. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. But to me Dortikos, his superior skills. You know, it, it should see him through. But I could be wrong. I'm not going to be surprised if... Kudryashov flattens him out. It's that type of fight. And, you know, it's, it's going to be fun while it lasts. What do you guys think? Peace.